I'm a buyer of stocks and other things today. And the reason is I've been through this before. I've been through the dot-com bubble. I've been through the subprime crisis. I know where this economy is going, and I've seen it before. Here, let me give you 10 reasons why I'm an, a buyer. Electric vehicles, genome sequencing, artificial intelligence, chat GPT, cryptocurrency, big data healthcare, quantum computing, solar energy, deglobalization, 3D printing, and robotics. Those are 10 reasons why I'm a buyer in this market. I know where this co country is going. I know where this economy is going. We've just got to get past one issue, and that was the coronavirus and the flooding of the market with $9 trillion. We got to work through that, and then we go where we all know we're going, up. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Let me make something perfectly clear. I am an investor. I am not a trader. And to illustrate that, I want to show you this. This is a bottle of whiskey that I bought yesterday for over $1,000. You heard me right. It's a Scottish whiskey. It was barreled for 37 years, and then it was it's sat in this bottle for another five years, and I paid over $1,000 for it. Why would I do that? Because I think this is going to be worth $30,000 not too far in the future, within the next 10 years. Why would I think that? Because in 2009, I bought this bottle for $250. This same bottle, or the date, that same bottle of 2009 uh, was auctioned in December of 2022 for $52,000. That's an investment, $250 to $52,000. So I am an investor. Why would I do that? Watch this. Long gone are the days where two fingers of whiskey was just a drink of choice. Nowadays, it's the bottle so many are after. As more investors trade stocks by day, but collectors booze by night. And the amounts they are paying on rare and fine bottles is staggering, but so are the returns. Up 402% over the past decade, beating out luxury cars and fine art. It's like liquid gold. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Gold liquid wouldn't even be worth this much, right? That's probably right, yeah. <laughs> Peter Jarjour is the owner of Flask Fine Wine and Whiskey in Los Angeles. And the storefront might look like your ordinary liquor store, but behind the scenes, in a highly secured off-site showroom, you can find some of the most expensive bottles of whiskey in the world. So how much are you selling this guy for? It's about 190000 190000 Yeah, be careful. Oh, my gosh. Yikes. Yeah, here, you take it. I don't. That, Thank you. That makes me very nervous. That is a down payment on a house. You might think no one buys bottles this expensive, but old whiskeys are now regularly fetching six figures at auctions. A report released this year by Scottish investment bank Noble & Co. found that strong investor demand has pushed the value of fine and rare single malt whiskeys up by more than 20% this year. How often are you selling something like this? Pretty often. I mean, I, I, you know, it is a retail store, so like we're supposed to be selling stuff, but it really kind of breaks my heart when people buy stuff like this because we don't have it anymore. <laughs> and as the markets continue their roller coaster ride, rare and fine whiskey could be a tempting investment rivaling gold and silver. Whoever bought this off the shelf paid 50 bucks for it, and now it's about seven seventy five hundred. That is, if you don't pour yourself a glass first. So when it comes to whiskey and investments, it's not just buy low, sell high. It's like, don't drink it. Ever. If you have the willpower, yeah. Are you an investor or are you a trader? I've got a clue for you. If you know what that $190,000 bottle of whiskey was, you're an investor because you stopped the video and then you blew up the image of the bottle and you determined it was a Macallan 50, just like this one, that is selling for $190,000. That's the difference between investing and trading. I'm an investor. I look for undervalued asset. I recognized an undervalued asset that turned into 52000 So what do I else do I invest in? Well, I am, I'm investing because of the 10 reasons I gave you at the start of this video in Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA, 
and Meta because they are the people who own the data, they have the money, they have the experience, and they are going to take us into the future of everything that I mentioned. Did I miss some? Of course I did. There are some that you might feel are more appropriate or equally as important, but you must invest in the future, not in the current. You don't worry about interest rates. You don't worry about inflation. That was all caused by what? Yes, the pandemic and the flood of $9 trillion. It has to be washed out of the system. What else do I invest in? I invest in biotech. I am an owner of Editus, Beam, Caribou, Illumina, uh, Intella, and Pacific Biosciences. Why? Because they are going to change my world. They are going to eliminate the diseases that kill me and you. So therefore, I want to invest in them. What else am I investing in? Well, I'm certainly investing in defense. I recognize that our country is being threatened. We have Vladimir Putin, who is just will not quit, and he is going to make a move on Europe. You watch, you see, you read Churchill's book, about the rise of Adolf Hitler, it is a direct parallel. If you aren't reading and studying World War II, then you have no clue as to what's going to happen in World War III. Then where do I go? I go to energy because Vladimir Putin is going to put a strain on oil and natural gas. From there, I invest in dividend stocks. I share all this with the members of my tribe. The Power of the Tribe is a book that I wrote that if we will come together, if we will work together to find the McAllen's $190,000 bottle of uh, scotch now in the form of what I just showed you earlier uh, that I paid $1,000 for, I will recognize undervalued assets, whether it's in the stock market or it's it's in the whiskey market, and I will buy them. And I will share my information. I'm even writing a book about my experience with the uh, Pappy Van Winkle and how I'm carrying that forward and how I'm learning about liquors and scotches and rums and tequilas so that I can recognize the undervalued asset. Who's buying this stuff? Do you believe the wealthy will get wealthier or poorer? You know who's buying these wealthy, these uh, inflated priced assets. Why in the hell would a bottle of scotch be worth $190,000? Because there's very few of them. And there's a bunch of people with a lot of money that just want something that no one else has. So that's why I'll keep my Pappy Van Winkle. I will not drink it. I will keep it on my shelf, or I should say in my vault, and I will pass it on to my children because I believe my Pappy Van Winkle will get to $100,000 a bottle before Bitcoin does. Yes, I do believe that. And I believe at some point, if my children are patient and wait, this will be worth a million dollars. You gotta be insane. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But I recognize that's an undervalued asset and I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep collecting it. As I say, I'm going to share my book on how to buy whiskeys. I've got about 40 pages of it written. I'm going to share it uh, with my tribe. And those are the people who write to me. There's a link in the description and say, I want a copy of your ebook. I'm going to give a thousand of them away before I have it formatted, illustrated, and published. So if you want a part of where I'm going, I'm an investor. I am not a trader. We do on our Discord have Mark. He is a trader. He's damn good at it. He gets it right about 87% of the time. That's another asset that I offer you. I'm now offering you a trading platform and I'm offering you a bourbon platform. And no, a whiskey investing platform. If that's the kind of stuff you'd like to be a part of, you know where to find me. Go down into the description, send the link, and I'll uh, I'll share everything I know with you. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor, and I'm going to make myself a whiskey millionaire. Talk to you again soon. 